In the next two years, one crore farmers across the country will be initiated into natural farming, supported by certification and branding. Implementation will be through scientific institutions and willing gram panchayats. 10,000 need-based bio-input resource centers will be established. Missions for pulses and oil seeds. For achieving self-sufficiency in pulses and oil seeds, we will strengthen their production, storage, and marketing. As announced in the interim budget, a strategy is being put in place to achieve Atmanirbharta for oil seeds such as mustard, groundnut, sesame, soybean, and sunflower. Vegetable production and supply chains. Large-scale clusters for vegetable production will be developed closer to major consumption centers. We will promote farmer-producer organizations, cooperatives, and startups for vegetable supply chains, including for collection and storage and marketing. Digital public infrastructure for agriculture. Buoyed by the success of the pilot project, our government, in partnership with the states, will facilitate the implementation of the digital public infrastructure in agriculture for coverage of farmers and their lands in three years. During this year, digital crop survey for Karif using the DPI will be taken up in 400 districts. The details of six crore farmers and their lands will be brought into the farmer and land registries. Further, the issuance of Jan Samarth based Kisan credit cards will be enabled in five states. Shrimp production and export. Financial support for setting up a network of nucleus breeding centers for shrimp brood stocks will be provided. Financing for shrimp farming, processing, and export will be facilitated through NABARD. National cooperation policy. Our government will bring out a national cooperation policy for systematic, orderly, and all-round de development of the cooperative sector, fast-tracking growth of rural economy, and generation of employment opportunities on a large scale will be the policy goal. This year, I have made a provision of 1.52 lakh crore rupees for agriculture and allied sectors. Priority two, employment and skilling. Employment linked incentive. Our government will implement following three schemes for employment linked incentive as part of the Prime Minister's package. These will be based on enrollment in the EPFO and focus on recognition of first time employees and support to employees and employers. Scheme A, first timers. This scheme will provide one month wage to all persons newly entering the workforce in all formal sectors. Direct benefit transfer of one month salary in three installments to first time employees as registered in the EPFO will be up to 15,000 rupees. The eligibility limit will be a salary of 1 lakh per month. The scheme is expected to benefit 210 lakh youths. Scheme B, job creation in manufacturing. This scheme will incentivize additional employment in the manufacturing sector linked to the employment of first-time employees. 
an incentive will be provided at specified scale directly both to the employee and the employer with respect to the EPFO contribution in the first four years of employment. The scheme is expected to benefit 30 lakh youth entering employment and their employers. जदि आपन को हम वीडियो टी भल लागिला तबे हम चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करबा को जमा भी बुलंतु नहीं